Hey guys, I was just in the outro to the video and I realised I haven't done an intro basically. And for people who have clicked on this video to go quickly through and have a look at the performance of north facing versus south facing panels, I put a timestamp of when you need to go to and also a link in the description of when you need to go to as well so you can quickly go there. So yeah, enjoy and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, welcome back. And as you can see, I'm next to some solar panels, which means I'm on the roof of the house. And as per the title of this video, we're here to talk about the north facing solar panels of this property and the performance of them. Let's get into it. I apologise for the squirming face that I'm pulling, but I am on the roof. It's a quite a sunny day today, and I thought it'd be good to get up here to show you some of the panels um, on the roof. As the previous video, I did a drone shot of what we've got up here, but I just thought I'll come up here, shoot a couple of videos, for some B-rolls, etc., to talk through the performance of the solar panels. But at the same time, I would show you more detail of what we've got. And it's a good job I've come up here because I do need to do a bit of cleaning actually so i need to get some warm water because it's not good to clean them on a hot day like today with cold water because it can cause them to crack but i'm going to get a warm water give them a brush and i'm going to talk you through what i have done in regards to generation of north facing solar panels which i regard as successful and well put some comments in below and uh, we'll have a discussion about it okay guys so let's dive into the numbers what we're going to be looking at is a series of different timestamps throughout the day. That's going to be 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m., and then half past eight in the evening. And what we're going to be looking at is two particular screenshots. The first screenshot is always going to show the full generation of the solar PV throughout the day, far left hand side. That is taken directly from the solar edge inverter. And then what we're going to be doing is zooming in on the far right of these particular screen grabs which shows the north versus south facing solar panels. Um, what I've done here is put a line across, the red line, as you can see, to just show you where the ridge is of the building. So that top right-hand corner, which has got a cluster of four solar panels together, those are the north facing ones. And I'll put again the drone footage that shows where those solar panels are. Other side of that top right ridge is obviously the two south facings and then you come across slightly where we've got four solar panels again split over the ridge, two facing north face and two facing south face. So we're going to zoom in here to have a look at each time stamp to see what those solar panels have done at the time of day. So what you're looking at when you see this data and like I say with me breaking it down into different timestamps throughout the day is the total generation of solar that those particular solar panels have done up to that standpoint. So if it's 10 a.m., it's going to tell me everything up to 10. If it's 11 a.m., it's going to tell me everything up to 11. So obviously that's including 9, 10, 9.30s, etc. So everything up to 11 a.m. Then what you're going to see on the second screenshot is an actual live feed of that moment in time of when I actually physically screenshot the, the solar edge inverter statistics. So if it is 10 a.m., it is what is actually just being generated at that moment in time. So it's not what's up to, like the previous screen grab, it is at that moment in time. So you're going to see a difference up and down um, generation between north and south. And I'm going to put the entire map of the solar PV on the roof up on the screen grab. So you can get an idea of what each individual panel is generating at that moment in time. As you can imagine, throughout the day, this really does depend on what weather is. So if it's literally cloudy, it will literally really hammer the statistics of this and show the generation being quite low. And if we suddenly have a real big sun at that moment, a second, when I screen grab it, it will just show straight away that there is loads of um, solar generation happening on the panels. I wanted to include this screen grab though, because it's very important to see what the panels are doing at that moment in time, I believe. So if we have a look at the first set of solar panel generation at 10 a.m., we can see from the top right cluster that we have a variation between 175 and 206. 
from the north facing panels, whilst the south face on the same ridge is 227 and 207. If you go across the side of the roof, you'll see that the north face is generating between 221 and 211, and the other side of the ridge is doing 207 to 195. If we look at the all up map, we can clearly see that the numbers are generated anywhere between 78 to 68 on the top right cluster, and the north facing on the other side of the ridge is 85 and 88. So we're generating 134, 122 for the south facing, and 123 and 116. As you see from the rest of the map, the ones that are on top of the garage, which are actually set up wrong by Solar Edge, those should be side by side, are generating 139 watts. And the ones on the back of the house are doing pretty much 143, 147, 133 and 130. So at the moment, we're quite equal across the board for all of the north facing. So it's clear and obvious that the sun has started to move around to the, the south facing side of the house. If we move across to 11 o'clock, you can clearly see up to this point, we generated 272 watts for the north facing cluster, um, 241, 281, 248. And now the south face is starting to take over where we've got 393 and 382 facing the south face and 375 and 368. So we're starting to break away from the north facing. This clearing obviously that the sun is obviously being risen and it's starting to move round. When I actually took this particular screenshot, I did video of what the condition of the outside was. And it's very it was quite dark in terms of the clouds are quite thick, but the sun was quite strong and burning through actually quite impressively. We move over to the live feed and we can pretty much see that we're nearly generating twice as much on the south facing compared to the north facing. Still the ones in the garage are performing the best and then the back of the house is also still doing very well. But the north facing ones have started to slip behind at this stage. If we move over to one o'clock, you'll see the four north facing cluster solar panels are generating 462 to 402. And the other side, north facing, is 519 to 544 with 811, 781, 753 and 762 for south facing. The sun has clearly started to move all the way around the house because the back of the house has started to lose the generation being 105. The front of the house is starting to pick up with 113. South facing on the garage is still performing very well. South facing in general on the back of the gable is still doing extremely well with 133, 132. North facing has started to drop off down to 80. In, well, it's all in the 80s with the lowest points of 70s. Three o'clock now, north facing cluster varies between 558 five, to 614, all up general up to this point. And 716, 743 for the other ridge now that all south facing on the back has managed to get over a kilowatt in total consumption for the day. If we go over to the live feed for three o'clock, you'll see that all of the actual panels have started to increase a bit more. In general, that's because the time of day we, we have some nice blue skies with very white fluffy clouds, which I'll put a, a video of on screen at the moment. And what you can clearly see there, the south facing is not doing too bad. Front of the house is doing a lot better. The back of the house has now dropped off, which is actually producing less than the north facing panels. So that's quite interesting that they are outperforming the back of the house. Uh, but the front of the house has taken over the main um, usage and things and generation. Well, that obviously makes sense with the sun being more directly in front of them. But the south facing is still performing all right compared to the uh, north facing panels at this stage. We move over to six o'clock, top right four cluster north facing, uh, nearly at a kilowatt, 905 watts, and 788 is the lowest point. And on the other side, the north facing have got over a kilowatt now, so they've got one and then 1.04 kilowatt hours south facing however has got over 1 1.47 139 136 and 136 i do believe that the south facing one here the 1.2.10 the one that is generated 1.39 next to the 147 has done a bit worse than the other one and i think that's because there was actually a massive poop that was on there the solar panel which had been probably delivered by a pterodactyl because it was massive as you can see but when we go over to the live feed, you can clearly see that there is obviously, it's, it's gone dark and cloudy on this particular day because we're only just nearly at a kilowatt in total generation. All solar panels are pretty much generating all exactly the same. South facing, north facing, east and west are really within the same numbers of about three watt each, etc. So we can clearly see that this is just picking up all natural light with obviously a massive cast over of cloud going throughout and blocking the sun. The final screen grab I got was at half past eight-ish. 
This was just to show the total consumption of the north and south panels at the back of the house. You can see, and it was pretty much near what it was at the previous screen grab, that we nearly got to a kilowatt with the fourth cluster north facing. The other side of the ridge picked up south a little bit. The north facing on the other ridge picked up very, very small. And again on the south facing, which was pretty much exactly the same across the two panels. And when we go across the live feed at half past eight, you'll see that we're just generating 45 watts across all of the panels. Some of the panels on the north facing cluster top right are performing better than the others. And this is why it's quite interesting because the, some of them are a lot cleaner, as I mentioned on the previous video, compared to the others. So if we just focus on the four cluster north facing, you'll see that the 1.2.13 performs the best at 4.13 watts, with the dirtiest panel being 1.2.11, producing no. So I'm going to do a video around cleaning the panels because I'm going to see if I can get these numbers up to be more matching and be more parallel with each other but there's a massive difference throughout the day that we can see from those four clusters of the bottom one 1.2.13 performing best out of all the rest of the panels and what i've done just here is taking a screen grab of the weekly performance so you can see what it's like throughout the entire week now even though we are in july the performance of sun yield has been really poor so the north facing ones in the four clusters have generated anywhere lowest point of 5.31 kilowatts, highest point 6.1 on one ridge, the other ridge 6.85 kilowatts and 7.1 kilowatts. So they've done all right north facing, I would say, compared to the south facing, because the south facing is 10.35, 9.85, 9.88 and 9.53. Some of them are obviously a little bit far behind where we've got 30% nearly increase um, south versus north on certain sides depending on which panel it is obviously and others the gap is much bigger to near 45 percent better off south first in north a lot of that like i said previously will depend on how clean the panels are so it'd be quite interesting to give them a good clean up see if we can get those numbers to be a much much higher etc and make the gap a lot less what i will say though is if we had a very very good sun yield and we're blue skies completely for the week i imagine the gap would be completely different and the south facing ones would really outperform the north facing what i'm going to do is just show you another graph that i've access to which is taken directly from my tesla app and um, because i have a tesla power wall the battery i'm able to see the pv usage etc in that and i'm also able to see what i've done regarding where it's gone in terms of home usage, battery storage, as well as then gone to the grid to be sold. I just wanted to show you this because it will probably pop up in another video and ding so you get an idea of where this graph has particularly come from. Right guys, I hope that was helpful and it also taught you a few things or two about North versus South. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to go through and do monthly or weekly updates of this is how our system has got on and this is our performance of our system. So drop a comment if you want me to do things like that. But yeah, anyway, normal things resume on the channel shortly and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.